in an indian household ever since you were a kid you must have been taught this exercise for breathing inhale for 5 seconds hold your breath and then slowly exhale it out we all have inherited this exercise called pranayam and subconsciously made it an integral part of our lives without even knowing climb too many stairs at one go reach the top and take a few seconds to do this exercise to stabilize your breathing having a panic attack concentrate on your breathing first to calm down your fast beating heart while indian science and hindu yoga had developed this breathing technique several eons ago the capitalistic west is now in cashing on it benefits by rebranding and repacking the breathing exercise and selling it as cardiac coherence breathing exercises This incessant urge to remove the Indian connection to any custom or tradition has been a tendency of the West. They have already removed the Hindu aspect of yoga, secularizing it, and are now coming for different aspects of it. Hi and welcome. This is TFI English, the socio-political analysis arm of the TFI Media Group. I'm your host Tribhuvan, and in this video, I will tell you how the Western institutions blankly steal Indian customs, techniques, and rebrand them to sell to the foreign audience. Let's begin. An article in Scientific American titled "Proper Breathing Brings Better Health" is going viral on social media platforms in India. In its tweet sharing the article, the journal wrote, "Cardiac coherence breathing exercise can stabilize the heartbeat and have a powerful ability to dampen anxiety," with a photo showing what Indians know better as the yoga technique, pranayam. Naturally, the Indians were miffed and targeted the journal as well as the Western institution for blindly stealing Indian customs. techniques and rebranding them to sell to the foreign audience while some claimed it was cultural appropriation others slammed the journal for its ignorance safe to say atul mishra founder of tfi media bashed the journals with some tweeting they stole the number system they stole calculus they stole planetary motion concepts they turned yoga into a pt drill they are appropriating ghee and patal and now they are calling pranayam cardiac coherence breathing and we are busy bashing our own past however this is not the first time that the western world that usually sneers down upon any indian invention or discovery only to later take it to heart has been caught with its pat down what is known today as the modern calculus of the 17th century due to newton and leibniz was the direct result of the use of all the fundamentals that were developed independently in india Aryabhat and Brahmagupta calculated instantaneous speed of certain orbital parameters rather than just an average speed and called this instantaneous motion tatkalika Sanskrit for instantaneous velocity moreover they gave the formula for it long back much before the Europeans or the Chinese even developed it or took reference from mathematicians who belonged to Kerala school a well known center of mathematics and astronomy In the 15th and 16th century developed comprehensive theories about the development of infinitesimal series and its application which were central to calculus and codified the science in palm leaves bundle equivalent to modern day books those included bhaskaracharya brahmagupta mahamitra and so on the text yukti bhasha written by indian astronomer jeshtha deva of this school was veritable textbook of original calculus and offers detailed explanation of most of the result used today Series expansion for trigonometric function was described by Neil Kant in Sanskrit verse in an astronomical treatise called Tantra Sangra. The same expansion of sine, cosine, and arctant function became the Taylor series of today. Neil Kant in the same book proposed models that became the iconic model of planetary motion centuries later. Indians and their ancient texts also point out what the westerners took centuries to unfold and that is the earth is spherical. In his third avatar called Varaha, Lord Vishnu is depicted as a boar wielding Sudarshan Chakra and Komada ki Gada. The avatar Vishnu is associated with the legend of lifting the earth out of the cosmic ocean. When the demon Hiranyaksha stole the earth and hid her in the primordial waters, Vishnu appeared as Varaha to rescue her. Varaha slew the demon and retrieved the earth from the ocean. lifting it on his tusks and restored bhu devi to her place in the universe it is pertinent to note that earth was shown spherical back then when no telescopes existed checkmate for flat earthers and westerners similarly in the late 70s and early 80s when colgate was trying to convert charcoal users to tooth powder it had launched a commercial that hawked prime time space on doordarshan in the ad when the bodybuilder asked his sister in law understandably in a village to bring him some doodh badam and koila she immediately restores अरे वाह देवर जी बदन के लिए दूध बदाम और दांतों के लिए कोयला अ वॉइस ओवर दैन प्रॉज व्यूअर्स टू यूज कोलगेट टूथ पाउडर बिकॉज 
Khudre padarth can spoil enamel, the outermost covering of the teeth. And look at the Colgate and every other FMCG company today. From charcoal based toothpaste to charcoal based face wash, they are using charcoal as their USP to sell the products. Indians have been using charcoal as a name for centuries before the Westerners came and ridiculed us for using them. Not surprisingly, we as the naive and gullible public took their quackery and pseudoscience as the voice of rationality and dropped the custom. Remember Patal and how Indian households had a tradition of eating it since the time of dawn. The West has now only caught up with it and is terming it as a biodegradable plate, which is kind of some revolutionary development for them. Only they don't know that Indians have been using such revolutionary inventions for centuries. Indians crave validation and until an exotic foreigner doesn't approve of our methods and customs, we tend to look down upon them. Person eating in Patal might be termed poor, ignorant, but a white man eating on a biodegradable plate will be dubbed an eco-warrior and overall good Samaritan. We Indians need to rise above our pretty squabbles and turn inwards to recognize our rich history and legacy. We have enough knowledge and know how to go about our business without adulterating it with any stolen foreign knowledge. It's also the time we start to take pride in our customs. After all, the West comes around to ape it several thousand years later. Yoga is purely connected to its Indian and Hindu roots. One cannot refute the fact that those saying that yoga is not connected to any religious belief are simply deniers who do not want Hindus to receive the credit of gifting something so beneficial to mankind, such as the casual racism that Indian customs and Hindus receive. And that certainly needs to change. Pushing back against journals should be done at a mass scale so that the message can be sent across the board. 